Hey guys, so today I want to go over something that I've probably been asked more questions about than anything else. People who've had trouble setting up their wireless cards. And this is one of the most common questions you're going to see on Linux forums and one of the most common problems people have with hardware compatibility. And really, if you follow a few simple steps, you can generally set up 99.9% .9 of your Wi-Fi cards. There are a few things you'll want to check first. You're going to first want to make sure there's a driver installed. For that process, I recommend installing INXI. Here's INXI. When you just run INXI, it will give you some of the basic hardware abilities of your computer and the models. Say I have a wireless card that's not working. So INXI, capital N flag, that's going to respond with our wireless card and if a driver is installed. So here we have the Qualcomm card here. We see there's a driver installed. If you have a card that doesn't have, if it says none here, that means you're going to need to get the driver and install it. I also have a secondary USB card. I'm going to plug it up. First thing, if you're not sure which is your wireless card that you're working on, you're going to run the command. Then you're going to plug in that new USB wireless card and you're going to run that command once again. And you're going to check the difference. As you can see, we have the driver here installed for the USB one as well. If you don't have INXI and you don't have internet to download it, you can also use other things to identify your card. For example, we're going to use LSUSB. Now LSUSB is going to list our USB devices. We see here we have these as our USB devices. You know, if I have a new USB wireless card, I can then run it before I plug it in, and then I can also run it after plugging it in. We're going to run LSUSB once again, and now you can see there's an added card. That's how you'll identify your new wireless USB card. So you run the LSUSB before you plug it in, and then you run it after, and all you have to do is process an elimination. Now you have the name of your wireless adapter. Now if you're, say, looking for a driver for your built-in card, we'll use LSPCI. Now, LSPCI is going to list all PCI devices. Now, when we list this, we would have our network card here, the network controller Qualcomm QCA9377. What will we do at this point? First off, let's take a look at our, our modules to see if our driver is there. LSMod is going to list all our modules. You're going to need to install the module or the driver for your card. And you can see one of my uh, USB wireless card modules right here and if you don't see the corresponding driver module installed then I would suggest you look it up and from here we're going to open up Firefox and what we're going to do is we're going to search for the card itself. We have the model here. We just ran LSPCI, our built-in laptop card is going to be this, Qualcomm Atheros. What we're going to do and what I suggest you always do is include solved in your search. What that does is it'll only show the results of posts on Linux forums where that card was solved. Easy as that. Then we're going to put in quotes our card name and we're going to do our search. And this way we can find out what the driver's name is. As you can see right in the subject we can see it's ATH10K and that is our driver. So from here, we would then look up our driver either in the repository, we would look up, you know, Qualcomm on our, you know, we could do apt search Qualcomm. And basically, when you're searching the apt repository, you're not going to want to put the exact car name because it may not be included in the search query, in the description, etc. So we're going to do apt search and we're going to see what comes up. Okay, and we have some firmware. Here we go. So now we have the firmware Atheros, and what we would do in this case, since it's in the repository for our Linux system, we would do apt install firmware and then Atheros. And what that's going to do is install the firmware for your card. If your card's a different name, substitute the search, Linux driver solved, and then put your card name that's found in LSPCI or LSUSB or INXI with capital N flag. If we don't find it in our Linux repository, we can always search GitHub as well. We'll go ahead and look up QCA9377 
And when we look that up, we should find a variety of drivers. We can also look through that driver's list. We can search by best match, or we could do by most recently updated. Of course, take a look at the issues and make sure it works on your kernel. There are times when people have trouble with their wireless card because they're running a kernel where the driver is not compatible with that kernel. So you may need to downgrade your kernel, pay attention to the repository for the driver, make sure it runs on the kernel you're running, and if not, you might want to downgrade your kernel. Before we install a driver, we're going to need to install the kernel headers. We're going to go ahead and look for apt search Linux headers, and what that's going to do is it's going to show us all the Linux headers that we need. Every time we install a Linux driver, we're going to need the headers for the kernel we're running. It needs to be the exact issue of the header. So for here, say for example, I could do, you know, apt install right here, apt install, and then I would do this, and that will install the headers. You're going to need that anytime you install new modules. You're going to need the Linux headers first. So remember to always install the Linux headers for your exact kernel first, and then try to compile and install the drivers for your wireless card. Now, if you're further having issues with your wireless card and say you have the drivers installed, everything's good to go, you can take a look at RF kill and see if anything is blocked. So here we see that I don't have the wireless card blocked. It's not blocked. As you can see, RF kill would block it, but in our case, it's not. But you can see what it would look like if it is blocked. As we can see, the Bluetooth is soft blocked here. If that's a problem, you can then use RF kill to unblock. So you'll do RF kill, and you might want to run help and see some of the options. And you can unblock your device. As you can see here, we would do RF kill, unblock, and then our device after that. And that would unblock it on RF kill. So that's another issue people may have. I wanted to do this video in hopes that it would help people. And you can also use Mod Probe for adding the modules after it's all set up. But as I mentioned, the checklist is as simple as this. Let's write down the checklist. First thing we do, LSPCI or LSUSB to see our, to find the card model. Exact. Then, what do we do after that? We go ahead and install the Linux kernel headers for, for our exact kernel. And after we install the kernel headers, then we install the driver. Now, of course, if we're not yet sure what our driver would be, we can run INXI N and see our, to see current status of our driver situation for our Wi-Fi. Now, after that, you can search Linux forums with solved, in quotes, along with Linux, in quotes, and driver name here, in quotes. So all of that is important because that'll show us several solved threads that have our exact driver and give us the most likely outcome for us. Once we've installed the kernel headers, then we install, then we install the driver. So after that, we install the driver as instructed. How? Well, first we're going to search repository locally for our operating system. If that doesn't work, we search GitHub and other places. Now we have the driver installed. After we installed our kernel modules, we can do mod probe, you know, the driver here. And if it, if it still doesn't work, Then check RF kill, make sure there's no blocking. If blocked, RF kill, unblock, and driver, and reboot. So you have basically everything you need here to solve this problem. And we're going to search and find out what the right driver is for our kernel. Make sure it is the right one for your kernel. Install those kernel headers compile and install the driver after the kernel headers are installed. Then go ahead and mod probe and go ahead and reboot if you need to. 
and you should have a working Wi-Fi card at that point. And that's what I have. I had a request for this video and I, I wanted to try and fulfill that. It should help you solve your problems with Wi-Fi cards and other drivers. So I hope it's helpful. Like the video, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on Linux.